I think the problem might be my laptop. It might not be the network, but now I'm now back connected to the Wi-Fi. Let's see if the thing will respond quicker. <clears throat> okay, so we wait. We are now on question 16. A survey of a random sample of 300 grocery shoppers in Kimberley found that the mean value of their grocery purchase was 78 rand. Assume that the population standard deviation of the grocery purchase is 21 rand. The 95% confidence interval for the mean grocery purchase is. So we are looking at confidence interval questions. And because they're talking about the standard deviation, we need to ask ourselves, is the population standard deviation known? Because that will tell us where on the table are we going to find. Oh, sorry, my note. My whiteboard needs to refresh because I was disconnected from the internet. Okay, so. <clears throat> The first question you need to check or the things that you need to check for is um, are you given the population standard deviation or the sample standard deviation? And because you will need to go and find the critical value on the Z table or the T table. So in this question, they have given us the population standard deviation. So it means we're going to use the Z table. OK. So it's. We are back. Now, even though we are back, just gonna open a new one. So I don't know what is happening on that one. So, because we're given the population standard deviation, let's make it this bigger a little bit. We need to go find oh. probably okay the mean plus or minus the critical value of z over two times the population standard deviation divided by the square root of n which is the standard error so what we are given is the sample size which is our n of 300 we are told what the mean is from the sample the mean is 78 we are also told what the population standard deviation is it's 21 and we are also given a 95 percent confidence interval therefore it means our alpha value is 0, 0.5 because a 95% confidence interval is 1 minus alpha of 0, 0.95. Make alpha the subject of the formula, you will see that it is equal to that. By now, you should have that table. If I go to this uh, thing that we shared with you now, let me just double check if they did share that kind of information with you. It might not be there. See what else is on this document that is useful. These probabilities. This one I scroll until I get to confidence interval. That is if it's included in this document. Normal distribution. Discrete. I'm sorry that I am scrolling too fast. Normal distribution. I don't think there is further more questions on that. Okay, this is up to study unit six, doesn't it? <laughs> the <laughs> confidence interval. I will look for another document. There should be another one as well. 
But anyway, what I was trying to get to is when we look at this, our critical value for Z of alpha over 2, which will be Z of 0, 0,05 divided by 2, which is the same as Z of 0, 0,0250. It means this probability we go and find on the table. Inside this table, we look for 0, 0,20 and we look for the Z value, which is 1,9 and six. So our critical value is one comma nine six. That is the value that we're going to substitute onto here. So we say 78 plus or minus one comma nine six times our standard deviation of 21 divided by the square root of 300. What I was getting to is you need to have your alpha divided by two critical values, especially for the Z, there is on the nodes. There is a table that has the critical values for Z over, sorry, for Z over, uh, Z alpha over two. Use that table to identify your critical values and have it ready and in your confidence interval chapter that we would have summarized and use that information because you don't have in the exam, you will not have the liberty to go and search for the critical values inside the table and go look for the Z values, especially for things that are obvious that you should know. You can minimize on that if you have created that. So let's calculate the confidence interval quickly. So if I take my calculator, oh yeah, I lost my case your calculator because I lost my, I had to restart my network. So this one is still works. You can use this. Mode zero. So 78 minus one, 1. 1.96 times 21 divided by the square root of 300 equals the upper area is 75.62. And I can go and find the plus sign. Delete plus. Yeah. Uh huh. Let's And the upper area will be or you know, the upper side, the plus side will be 80.376. So the answer is option D, right? <laughs> Someone oh, has their oh, oh, and they are not. And they are. Uh, there is a hand. Or oh, did you lower it? Uh, 70 .38. 80.38. 80.38. So the answer is option D. Do you agree? Did you all calculate it? Yes. Yes. So that will be 
<clears throat> if you started with the upper area, the plus side, you will get number A. So always be careful. You start with the minus, which is your lower limit, and then the plus is your upper limit. So you always start with the lower limit. That is, so it, the problem is not the network, is the, because I can see that I am almost, my Wi-Fi is fine. Oh no. And I don't know what's wrong with this thing. <clears throat> yes. It should be done by seven, otherwise. I don't know. Come on. And the worst part is I cannot move next until it's finished. Mm. Okay, I don't know. <clears throat> Lizzie, maybe we should postpone this because um, if you have a network problem, it could be um, a long they, time. Yeah, the thing is, when I close this, then we lost. We uh, will have next time we meet again. We we start from from the beginning. We can skip through all the questions for up until 13 up or 14. Until 16. Yeah. yeah. So. See. This is very disappointing, right? It's fine, Liz. It's not your fault. Okay, so let's see the confidence interval. So develop a confidence interval for a 95% confidence for the population proportion if the sample size um, <clears throat> is 200 had 40, uh, have 40 success. So this is proportion, right? So with proportions, you to the side, with proportions, we also still use the Z, um, but we need to find the P, which is X over N, which will be 40 divided by 200. We just do the calculations. Then the confidence estimate.
will be given by that formula. So we know that we're doing Z alpha divided by two and it is at 95% confidence interval. By now you should know that the critical value is Z of 1,96. So do the calculations. Oh. <clears throat> what is 40 divided by 200? Zero point two. Zero point two, then just substitute zero point two plus or minus. You can see that the answers is not you to solve the entire equation. You just need to solve the margin of error. One point nine six times the square root of zero point two times one minus zero point two divide by two hundred. That's what you need. You, you just need to solve everything. Just need to solve this side. Only that part. That's the only thing you need to solve. 0 0.2 plus or minus. Do the calculations. One point nine six times <clears throat> point two times one minus point two. What do you get? Zero point zero, zero five five four. Zero comma zero five five four. That's what I get. Zero comma zero five five four. Which, if I look at the question, it only needs three decimal. So that will be option D. And I think um, after this one, we can take that suggestion of because by the rate that we go in right now. <clears throat> I don't think we will even get to eight to seven o'clock. It will go beyond that. Maybe I will need to switch off my machine. <clears throat> So this will be the last one. And then the next time we see each other, we will do 18 up until 25. Just want to see. OK. I'm going to stop right here. And I want to stop it right with the answer. And that will conclude today's session because I don't think Going ahead with at this rate. Uh -uh. <clears throat> okay, so let's stop right here. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to stop recording. <clears throat>